All right, I'm going to read this because it's in the prompter, and that's what I do. Yeah. Are you curious or curiouser about yes. a cool spot for spring tea time? Well, that's how Alice would say it. Is that how she would say mm -hmm. it? I'm so not a, I'm not an aficionado on this Alice. Oh yeah. Thing. Can you smile like the Cheshire Cat? All right. Uh, our Lauren Richardson stepped into a fairy tale and went to Alice in the Village in Mystic. Take a look. <laughs> We are dropping down the rabbit hole at Alice in the Village today. We are here in Mystic. We're going to be showing you all the cool things to see around this spot and also trying out the tea and the food. Whether it's your unbirthday or for any reason, Alice in the Village in Old Mystic Village is a perfect place. One of the things that we really enjoy people coming in is you can kind of like just be a kid for a little bit. You know, even adults like come in and just say, oh my God you know and it really lets you just kind of let go of regular life for a hot second and just enjoy. Rochelle Weinrock is the brand ambassador of Alice in the Village. She said it's a whimsical experience with so much to see. There's so many themes with Alice in Wonderland. You know, it's actually second to the Bible in terms of popularity of book which is, I didn't know that until recently. <laughs> but we have a little door that looks very much like the one in Alice in Wonderland that you can look through. Um, and it goes into our, our sister shop, Alice's Haunted Little Bookshop, so you can see through. So there's a lot of really cool, magical things at Alice in the Village. One of them is the many mirrors that you see. And through this specific mirror across the way at the bookshop, you're going to get a different kind of perspective. Alice in the Village opened in 2016 and was renovated last year. Now it's just, um, you know, counter service instead of like table service. And that's worked out really well for us and, and our customers really like it too. There's less wait time. It's a true mad tea party with about 80 kinds of teas you can try. Come up to the counter and you choose what kind of a tea experience you want. Do you just, you know, do you want a bubble tea that you can just take with you and go around the village? Or do you want to sit down and enjoy a tea tower? And then if you did decide that you're going to stay here, you choose a seat to sit down at and enjoy your experience. Um, we also, in the spring and summer, have our outdoor seating. Okay, so now we're going to make the butterfly PT. And so what is this base? This is... Um, so you can choose your flavor for okay. the base and we chose for you a dragon fruit. So yeah. we've put in our dragon fruit flavor and then we are going to add our lemonade. Okay, cool. There we go. And then this is the... And this is the butterfly PT. This is okay. where the magic happens. Okay, ooh, let's see. I like want to pour it slow because I don't want it to go too fast. Oh, and then it changes to purple. Oh. People love both ways. Oh, so. it's really good. <laughs> really, really good. Yum. <laughs> That's really good. You like it? Yeah. Is it? Are the bubbles popping in your mm -hmm. mouth? Yeah. If you want a hot tea, they have a huge variety too. We have a whole wall behind me of uh, loose leaf teas and you know if you're not sure you want to get a gift for somebody you can get you know a bunch of different like tea bag you know different tea bag options and put them together in a tea tin but if you want to make your own custom blend we have a whole wall of loose leaf teas that you can put together you know whatever blend you want to put together our staff is really great with our teas so they can always help kind of pick and choose the right ones for you you can customize your own tea tower like this one so right now we are offering an a la carte pillar menu, which means you can build your own tea tower um, and you can have sandwiches or no sandwiches or, you know, you can have just an entire tower of desserts if that's how you're feeling or you can do two towers of sandwiches or macarons. So you guys just tried out the food and the drink. What, what did you think? So this was my first time here and I loved it. I love tea. I love cute things. I love the sandwiches. My favorite was a key lime dessert. It was amazing. I recommend it. An experience that will make you feel like a red queen or king and immerse yourself in a wonderland. Seeing the adults, like, I think there's sometimes like that moment of like, when they kind of like let their stresses and worries of the day just kind of go away for a second and enjoy like how beautiful it is in here and the whimsy and just the magic. 
All right, Alice in the Village is open from Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And on Sundays from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. They do not take reservations, Kara. Yeah, but nice that they've got the counter service now. AliceInTheVillage.net. What a great, you know, mom and daughter day out or girls day. Just Looks so terrific. fun.